Hello friends, I am Satyendra and today I will explain you the most basic concept in physics which is the force okay and why the force is equals to mass into acceleration okay okay see we all know that the force is just the pull and the push okay but have you ever thought why the force is equals to mass into acceleration okay what is that why the mass why when we multiply the mass with the acceleration that gives us the force have you ever thought about this so today in this video i will explain you the very basic thing that why the product of mass and acceleration gives the force okay <laughs> okay so let's go to the explanation okay so in order to understand you have to think okay so if a if an object of mass m is moving with velocity v okay so you have to consider an object of mass m okay and you have to think that it is moving with velocity v now we all know that the momentum is equals to mass into velocity okay this uh, we uh, know very well okay now uh, here after this if you have if you have clearly uh, read this part now then we can go into the forces okay now we can look at the what is the force okay now uh, if you now if you apply the force okay now if you apply the force the force is nothing but just the pull and the push that means if you just pull or push that object okay okay if you just pull or push the object okay so if you apply the force on the object okay definitely its velocity will change okay its velocity will get affected okay and hence because the velocity will change that means if the velocity will change then definitely the momentum will change okay and hence and hence the momentum okay that means if you if you push or pull an object which is moving okay its velocity will change and hence its momentum will change okay okay so you have applied some force okay okay but you don't know the magnitude of that force okay you have applied the force but you don't know the magnitude of that force okay and nor neither you know the magnitude nor you nor you know any expression okay okay now also also you apply the force for some definite time okay this is also true that when you apply or when you push that object or you pull that object you will pull or push that object for some definite time interval okay so that uh, that so the time also comes into the into our view okay that means times come time also comes in the picture okay now now this means that this means that the amount of change in momentum with respect to time okay can give you the idea of magnitude of the force applied okay so this is the most important and basic fact okay since you applied the force on an object which was moving its velocity changed and hence its momentum changed okay so that means that the amount of, that means the the amount of change in the momentum directly gives you the idea of the magnitude of the force applied okay so here is the basic thing that will give you the formula of the force okay okay but we know that okay but the change in momentum with respect to time is this so this is the change in momentum this is the change in time and the division this division gives the change in momentum with respect to the time okay now now let's go for instantaneous change instantaneous change in momentum with respect to time so if we want to see the instantaneous change then what we have to do we have to apply the limit that delta t tends to zero okay in that time the p delta p will also change <clears throat> okay that also will change infinitesimally okay so that means the if you if you want to calculate the change in momentum okay <clears throat> 
instantaneous change in momentum that you, then you have to evaluate this limit okay and this this whole quantity is actually equals to dp over dt that is the first differential of p with respect to t okay okay <clears throat> now since the change in momentum since the change in momentum has occurred because of the force applied okay since you have to note down this point that change in momentum occurs because you applied because you push or pull you have pushed or pulled the object okay so the change occurred in the momentum due to the force okay so larger the change in the momentum okay larger the change in the momentum that means you have applied the large force and if the change in momentum is small that means you have applied the less force okay so that means that the force must be directly proportional to the time rate of change of momentum that means the force should be directly proportional to dp over dt okay so here comes the most basic expression and then this is the newton's second law okay now let's put the value of the momentum p which is nothing but mv okay so this equation is clear now the mass is let us assume a non-relativistic case in which the mass is constant okay so mass will come out okay now we further know that the first differential of v with respect to time is nothing but the acceleration okay so that becomes like this now we can remove this proportionality by by putting a constant so this is the constant of proportionality okay now in si unit the k is 1 okay in si unit the k is 1 so f is equals to ma and this is all we wanted to prove okay so you have derived the uh, the fundamental rule that means the second law of uh, that means the second law of motion or the newton's law of motion with the help of the your fundamental thought okay okay from the from the from the fundamental thought of the change in momentum okay so this completes the proof okay and this also completes this video okay thank you very much please share with your friends okay if you like this video and uh, please subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed and please like it okay thank you very much